You're a liar and a manipulator. The new update for FS Studio 21 is like Pro Tools for the Underground. And you're going to see what I mean. So let's look at the screen. So as we see on the screen right here, we have save, right? So once we save as, it creates a folder for us, right? In Pro Tools, Logic, um, Studio One, they all create folders. FL, Houston did not. But in 21, it does. So now you can, instead of just sending an FLP trying to get all your stems and stuff out, what you can do is just save it to a folder, zip the folder and send it because it'll copy over to all the files that's used in the session. And you can change the location where it needs to go. And it's so simple. You can click this to do not uh, show again in the future. You can put the title, the genre, all that right here. So simple. You hit save, see like right here where it says session one. So like in here, the only audio we had in here or whatever is here. So you had to turn off the claps and all this stuff right there, but the beat is in here. So if we have audio files, they would go here, but I'll show you that later. But yeah, it's so simple. So if we wanted to send that session to somebody, we could right click that, compress that into a zip file and just send that file and they can open it and get the mixing on it, collab on it and send it back, whatever. We'll get back to this in a minute. Um, another thing we have right here, that's why I'm saying it's like Pro Tools from the underground is the fact now you can actually gain stage and adjust clip gain have you need on here so watch this i go down here to the bottom we can turn this part up if we want we can turn this up or we can turn this up right here so and we see the db so if we wanted to gain stage so like a lot of people when they go to mixing they want to gain stage for like under um negative 6.6 .6 dbs you can kind of do that have you want you know what I'm saying you gain stage properly um you don't have to go back and double click to turn the volume up or down anymore you can literally just click at the bottom you can do that and we have cross fades now so you can fade this here so your punches want to punch in we can fade those um, the way they simple or if we want to add a little cross fades and stuff like that now we can literally just drag that over like that in pro tools this is one of the best things that pro tools has like studio one has it um logic does not have it <laughs> ableton don't have it i don't think ableton has it either but pro tools has it for sure so this is another comparison to pro tools and that's cool for real, for real, for real, for real. So get that out, click out this, click off that, get that out of there, and get this back. And if you want to get that back, it's just that simple. If you fuck up, you can just get rid of them and drag the shit back. That's cool. But this right here alone will make me use FL Studio more because now I can punch and record and kind of gain stage and do shit on the fly. And I can send sessions and get stems and shit so much. Um, now it's not necessarily going to be about FLP files and shit. Now it's going to be more so about just like sending sessions. Like, <laughs> so I got a beat in here. I want to record. So, um, and another thing we got to do right before we record, I want to show you over here on the side. It's always been over here, but what we can do, we can literally pull up all our mixer presets over here to the side, right? So let's see, I wanna go over here and put a star by it. So now anytime I click this right here, it's gonna show me my presets with a star. So you wanna keep that in mind. So you, your favorite presets that you like, you just go over here, find them, and just put a star by them. Like it's so simple. Like I can do like this, this, and this, and now we can go here, hit the star, and all that presets there. If we don't want the star on it no more, just click that off. And now when we hit that, nothing there. Like that's so fire, you know what I'm saying? So now you don't have to always worry about dragging and copying over. You just literally click this and pull that shit over. Um, yeah, that's a game changer too. But so, and I'm pretty sure you know about changing the theme, right? You can change the theme or whatever you want and you can customize them down here. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's hard <laughs> that's hard that's fire right so i guess i use this one for the time being um so yeah so now i'm gonna record some real quick and um yeah i was just turning the automation out so let's get it let's assign that to there now we got that and now that's kind of like peaking so let me turn that down a little bit now I'll just hit record. I don't really, yeah, I don't really care. 
So, with that being said, now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Uh, play. I don't really care about your boyfriend. I so, I so, I don't really care about your boyfriend. So let's say I wanted to cut. Let's say I wanted to cut this right, and then uh, cut that. I so let's say it's a part in here I want to make bigger and another thing that makes this like pro tools we see the track windows little thing and the slider up here that's cool um it's probably already been there but I don't know I don't really use FL like that so let's say I want to make this part right here louder right I want to make that part louder right so now I can really just go in here and just cut up what I need to cut to turn certain parts down, turn them up, and I can do all of that with this right here. So I click right here on my little pencil tool. So. So, I so like now. All right, so look, now we have it to where I can sit here and like do my face, right? So, and the thing about it, if you click this off, if you click it off, if that's clicked off, it's not gonna work, right? So now we got it now. So now we can sit here and turn this up if we need it to be lower. Now, this is very, very creative. Now we have more control of everything we need to do. Like, that's so crazy. Like, <laughs> that's crazy they added this feature. Like, that's insane. I don't really care what you're playing. I don't really care. I don't really care. So like that's so interesting, right? So let's say I'll, let's say we need to turn it up. That right there is insane. Then, like you say, we want to get rid of that little white noise at the end. If we don't want to cut for whatever reason, we could do that. We could fade this in. All right, we could do 
like a little weird crossfade with that in the back. Like, it's so many options now, right? It's crazy. I don't really care about your boyfriend. I don't really care about your Like if you don't want to do each one where they all do it, it's like you just cut them. Like you cut them and you just now you got this one to work with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now. Like, <laughs> like that's so fucking crazy, right? That's so crazy. Like I like that. Like I really like having the ability to turn this shit down with the clips, right? It beats having to click on this shit and do this. Like, who the fuck wants to do this again? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we could do all that shit right here. <laughs> all right, fucking here. That's that's like the best shit ever. <laughs> like for real, for real, for real. But yeah, man, FL Studio Twenty One is basically Pro Tools for the underground. Like a lot of underground artists. Use FL anyway, and they just made it more like Pro Tools, <laughs> in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So like now, remember what I said earlier. Now I'm gonna save it as Project Two. So I'm gonna save it as Project Two, and I'm gonna go back. So now I'm Project Two. Now I got samples. So now I got the beat. I got this little bullshit here. Now I hit audio, and audio. I got my recordings. All right. There we go. So now we can send this shit over and it can get mixed or whatever like that. And we got a FLP, but now we got the file folder and everything. It's beautiful. It's just a beautiful 